Welcome back to Story Recaps. Today I'm going to explain the movie, The Call of the Wild, released in the year 2020. The movie starts with showing the year 1890, here we are told about a city in Canada, Yukon City, at this place, hundreds of people from different countries of the world, used to come here to find gold, there is a lot of snow on the mountains here, due to which people used to use dogs to carry their belongings, that's why there was a lot of demand for dogs at that time. After this, the story is shipped from California, here we see a dog named Buck. This dog named Buck, is a mixed breed of St. Bernard and Scotch Collie dogs, Buck lives in California with his owner Judge Miller and his family. Buck is a smart and mischievous dog, whose size was bigger than the rest of the dogs, so he is very famous in his town. One day, when it was Judge's birthday, Buck comes to the market with a housekeeper, Buck was running after a cycle in the market, which a man sees, this man thinks of stealing that dog and selling it. Today was Judge's birthday, so different types of food were prepared at home, when the cooks hear the sound of the Buck coming, they quickly steal all the food, so that the Buck cannot destroy them. After some time, all the food is laid out on the table, Judge Miller was busy posing for photos with his entire family, when Buck comes here with a bone in his mouth. Judge sees that Buck has ruined all the food, due to that act of Buck, Judge gets very angry on him, so at night he throws Buck out of the house. Buck was sitting outside the house, when the same man comes here, who saw Buck in the market. That man calls Buck to the other side, and then throws some cookies in a box and closes Buck in that box. That man takes money from someone, and sells the Buck to him. He barks inside the box and calls his owner, but it is of no use to him. After some time, he is put in the box, and sent to the hometown by train. The next day, when a man opens the box, Buck tries to run away, but the man knocks him down by hitting him with a stick. Today, for the first time in his life, Buck was hits here, so he sits down quietly, at this place we see many boxes, in which the dogs were kept in prison. The man ties Buck with a rope and goes out of here. Buck takes advantage of this opportunity, and frees himself by breaking the rope, and runs away from here. Coming out, he sees that he is on a ship, there is a whole sea around it, so he cannot run away even if he wants to. After this the ship reaches Yukon, this place was very cold. When the buck is brought down, only then the snow starts falling here. The buck was quite surprised to see the snow, because for the first time in his life, he saw the snow falling, he starts playing in the snow. As soon as he gets a chance, buck frees his rope and starts running from here. We see here a man named John, who came to this place to find gold. Then Buck suddenly collides with John, but John does not pay much attention to him. Buck sees that John's harmonica had fallen down due to the collision. Buck picks it up and returns it to John. With this intelligence of Buck, John is very impressed on him. John could tell him something, that only then the owner of Buck comes and takes him from here. Now Buck is kept here with many dogs for sale, he was much bigger than all those dogs, he thinks to be friends with them, but no dog is willing for friendship. After this a man named Perot comes here, when he sees Buck, then he likes him very much, so he buys the Buck. Perot is a postman, who works to deliver letters to the people living on the mountain. When he shows the buck to his partner Francoise, then seeing the size of the buck, Francoise says that we want more dogs like this. After this, Buck meets the rest of the dogs of Sled, the leader of these dogs is a husky breed dog, named Spitz. Next, Perot shows all the dogs a map of where they have to go, now Buck is put on a leash around his neck, and makes him stand last. Buck had never pulled a sled before today, so when all the dogs start running, then Buck could not run according to them, due to which he was falling down again and again. While pulling the sled, the Buck accidentally starts running towards the wrong direction, due to which it slips from the height, and all the people fall down. Buck's stupidity makes Spitz very angry. Perot understands that Buck is a pet dog, so he is having problems doing all this, due to working all day, all the dogs get tired here. Buck was feeling very cold, and did not know how to sleep in the snow. So he came to Perot's tent and took Francoise out, and slept in his place. But after some time Francoise comes to know, so she takes him out and sleeps there. Buck does not understand, how he will sleep in the snow, only then his eyes fall on a black wolf, who is watching him. Buck starts going back in fear, but then he collides with a dog, who was sleeping by digging a pit in the snow. When Buck looked at that wolf again, he had now disappeared from there. The next day all the dogs were pulling the sled, but the buck does not know how to run on smooth ice, due to which he is slipping again and again. At night all the dogs are given a fish to eat, Spitz, who was the leader of all, snatches the food of the other dogs. Seeing this, Buck gives his food to that dog, and leaves from there. Seeing this, all the dogs were looking at the buck in surprise, because those dogs would never have given their food to anyone. After working a lot the next day, all the dogs get tired, and everyone gets thirsty. Spitz was drinking water at one place, but he does not allow any dogs to drink water near him. Seeing all these things, Buck goes to the other side, and breaks the ice here, after which all the dogs drink water together. Due to this work of Buck, all the dogs start liking him very much. As the day was passing, Buck learns to walk on snow, and now he starts enjoying this work a lot. 
One day Perrault reaches a frozen lake that he had to cross. Francoise goes to check the creeks in the lake, when suddenly due to the breaking of ice, Francoise falls into the lake. Perrault rushes to save her, but Buck runs faster than him, and he jumps into the lake. Buck saves Francoise from drowning in the water, and saves her life by bringing her out. Seeing this, Perrault happily embraces her. Spitz, who was the leader of all the dogs, is very angry inside seeing all this, and he starts getting jealous of the Buck. In the night, Francoise talks to Buck and thanks him for saving his life. Francoise also gives Buck food here. Spitz was watching all these things, and he was jealous of Buck inside. After some time Buck sees a rabbit, so he runs after him. He catches that rabbit but he doesn't kill it, because he was just playing with it. That rabbit starts leaving from here. That only then Spitz comes from the front, and catches him and he kills that rabbit. Spitz was very angry so he attacks the Buck, due to which he faints here. Because of the fear of Spitz, all the dogs remain silent here. But a dog barks and tells, Buck to get up and fight with Spitz, hearing that dog's voice, Buck gets up in anger, and picks up Spitz at once and throws him down. All the dogs are very happy with Buck's win, and Spitz quietly leaves from here without saying anything. The next day, Perrault was looking for his front dog Spitz, but he could not find him anywhere, now without delay he decides to move forward. Buck comes forward to pull the sled, but Perrault wanted an old dog to be the leader, so he takes the Buck back. He tries to put a rope around the old dog's neck, but that dog refuses to put the rope around his neck. All the dogs were considering Buck as their leader, so Perrault would tie the rope around his neck. Those people now leave for their onward journey, Buck runs fast here, and leads all the dogs well. Seeing this, Perrault and Francoise are overjoyed. Halfway through, Perrault sees a lot of snow slipping down from above, so he quickly tells Buck to walk over to the other side. But then Buck sees the same black wolf on the rock, on the right side, which he had seen many times before. Buck does not listen to Perrault, and he escapes from the right side and passes through a cave, and saves the lives of all the people. After some time, Perrault reaches his destination at the right time. Everyone is very happy to get his own letter. Here in one of the cabins, we see John, who was writing a letter to his wife on his son's birthday. The next day, when John comes to deliver the letter, he recognizes Buck. Buck also watches her very carefully. After this, when Perrault reaches back to his city, he receives a letter, it was written in the letter, that telegraph facilities are going to be started at this place soon, so you sell all your dogs, and come back to Quebec. Now Perrault has to sell all his dogs even if he doesn't want to, and he has to go back. Buck is now alone with all the dogs. A few days later, a man named Hal comes here, who buys all those dogs to carry his luggages. His luggage was so much, that the dogs could not pull him. Hal tells his brother Charles to hit them, but in the middle, John stops her. John says that where you want to go, it will not be right to go there at this time, because in a few hours, there is going to be a snowstorm. But Hal does not listen to him, and leaves from here. Due to the heavy weight of the luggage, and the constant walking, all the dogs were tired, due to which they are unable to climb the mountain, and start slipping down. Seeing this, Hal gets very angry, and he was about to take out the gun and kill Buck. When John comes here, John again forbids Hal to go to that place, but Hal does not listen to him. John pushes him down, and then frees Buck, and takes him with you. On the other hand, Hal continues his journey again with the rest of the dogs. John brings Buck to his house, and takes good care of him, and after two full days, Buck comes to his senses. John tells him that all your companions have died, and only you are alive, you are completely free now, and you can go wherever you want. In the evening, John came to a bar to have a drink, but then Hal comes here, and he starts beating John, to save John, Buck attacks Hal, and brings John back home. After coming home, John starts drinking again, actually, John's son has died some time ago, due to which John was always sad. Buck understands that alcohol is not good for John, so he takes a bottle of wine, and buries it in the snow and sits on it. John tells him to move away, but Buck does not move from there. The next day, John shows Buck a map and says, that his son told him that there is a place on this map, where there is a lot of gold. After this, John takes the Buck and sets out to find gold. On the other hand, Hal comes to John's house to kill him, but there is no one here. Hal sees the same map here, on the path John and Buck went, Hal understands, that John is definitely going to find gold. On the other hand, we see that the boat which John and Buck were going, gets a hole in that boat, due to which water starts filling in it. Now both of them start moving on foot. After walking for many days, they both reach near an old cabin. In the night, Buck hears wolves screaming, hearing which Buck starts getting scared. But John calms him down and says, don't be afraid I am with you. The next morning, when John was taking a bath in the river, he finds a piece of gold here. He is very happy to get the gold, and understands that he has reached his destination. Seeing John, Buck also dips underwater, and takes out a piece of stone. John says it is not gold. After this Buck dives again, and this time Buck takes out a big piece of gold. But John doesn't look at him, so Buck feels, that this time too he has picked up the wrong thing. So he drops it back into the water. Finally John had found the place in Yukon, where gold is found. 
Then Buck sees a white wolf here, who is running towards the forest, so he follows him, Buck wanted to befriend them, but the wolf runs away in fear. The next day, when the wolves were crossing the river, a wolf's foot slips and it starts flowing in the water, but at the last moment, Buck comes here and saves him. With that work of Buck, those wolves now make him their friend, Buck now mostly stays with those wolves, he roams with them and hunts. Seeing Buck with wolves, John understands that Buck has now found his home. At night, when Buck comes to visit John, John asks him to stay with his family, and says tomorrow he will leave this place. Hearing this, Buck is very sad, and he leaves from here saying goodbye to his master. At night, when John comes to rest in the cabin, Hal starts shooting at him, due to which the bullet hits the tail lamp, and the cabin catches fire. Both of them come out of the cabin and start fighting, Hal shoots John in the stomach, due to which he is injured, Hal asks him for gold. When John shows him gold, Hal is very happy to see gold, Hal points the gun at John to kill him, but then Buck arrives, and he picks up Hal, and throws him inside the burning cabin, causing Hal to be killed inside. John was also shot, so he takes his last breath here. Next day, Buck goes to live in the forest with those wolves, time passes, we see Buck and that white wolf have two children. Buck has now become the leader of those wolves, and he is not afraid of anyone. With this the movie ends at this.